Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Um, if this is your first time visiting the channel then please do consider subscribing because I'm always putting videos up um, of modifications that I'm doing to my van and uh, you may find that of interest. So if it is, just hit that subscribe button down below and then you'll uh, be informed of all my up and coming videos. So in today's video we're going to be talking about this particular area above the cab. Um, if you've got a pop top then you will have this gap in varying configurations different shapes and sizes depending on how the uh, camper van conversion company or yourself have cut this particular area um, when fitting your pop top now the plan was to create some kind of panel that would fit in this area above me that would just hide um, all the straps and the little bits of pop top material that come down i know you can put tuck it in but it's always there um the brackets are there the straps um i just wanted to just sort of fill that gap in um for aesthetic reasons um also for just warming the cab up a bit just i mean it's only a you're only talking that much of a gap but i just thought if it's all contained and concealed it just it just tidies it up so i just wanted to create a panel just to fit in that area now in addition to that once the panel was uh, in place i wanted to incorporate um a curtain rail which i will show you later on in the video so i had to think about that as well um so what i did is i went away and bought some plywood uh, i raised the pop top got up upstairs and I did all the measuring from up top so I knew that the panel would fit absolutely perfect in that particular gap because there's a few little dinky angles that you've got to account for and uh, I just wanted to get it spot on. So I got it all measured up, I cut the plywood to size, um, I went back up top and I just sank the panel into place and it fit like a glove. It was absolutely perfect. I had to account for carpeting the panel afterwards so i had to make sure i left a little bit of a gap all the way around and it fit absolutely bob on it was perfect and of course it wouldn't just be a panel for sealing that particular gap when i'm up in the pop top i could use that panel uh, put it in situ if i was sleeping up there and it would just extend the uh, bed frame um, allowing you to just move further down put your pillow um, just gives you more foot room down the other end and uh, your pillows aren't dropping down into the cab area so that was a uh, that was another reason for doing it so once i knew it was all fitting nicely i thought right let's get it carpeted um so i came back down and as i was coming down i thought oh hang on a minute i need to check that it fits when the pop top's down because i want to be i want to have <coughs> excuse me i want to have the panel in place when the pop top's down and i'm just driving around normally and it's just nice and flush and all carpeted and looking nice so I thought right I better just try it in situ so I brought the pop top back down got the board went to put it in oh I couldn't fit it it wouldn't go up it because of the way my particular pop top is cut in this area here there was nowhere to lift the panel up and slot it into position because of the handles that you use for pulling the pop top down I couldn't I just couldn't fit it so I thought, oh, that's an issue. And then I thought, hang on a minute. If I want that board in situ when the pop top's down, when I'm driving, but I can't get the board up after I've brought the pop top down, are you still with me? If I, I can't put the board in first and then pull the pop top down because the board's in the way. <laughs> so, so that was just a no-go. So I had to rethink the whole thing. So then I thought, well, there's only one way around this. I'm going to have to cut the panel into two pieces. So I decided where I was going to cut it. Um, and that's exactly what I did. I just cut the panel down the middle. So there was a sort of little panel at the front and then the bigger panel at the back. And that would then allow me to slot the bigger panel into position. I could then get the smaller panel, which would go over the top <laughs> Of the panel that's already in push it that way and then slot it in and drop it down so it sits on these sort of ribs and um, where your pop top is and that fit in absolutely bob on so i thought brilliant happy days let's get it carpeted but then the old mind started ticking 
as with if you follow my channel you'll notice that I do come up with ideas which then evolve and I slightly over engineer them guilty as charged but I don't mind that I like coming up with ideas and modifying them and making them to suit me okay it might be over engineered but I just like the finished look of it so that's 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 just how my head works so anyway I was sat here in this position I was just having I was just looking and I thought ooh, 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 that was, ooh. and I thought I wonder if I can sort of design and build a sort of overhead storage locker on the bigger section of the panel which would mean because the panel comes out that would also mean that the overhead locker would come out and is removable so i thought oh i like that idea so then mine started going again and i started to come up with a few designs so anyway using uh, some of this stuff some of this square button and my trusty foam board uh, i came up with a design um it was only it was like it was like an inverted table um which then i sort of secured to the panel the larger panel at the back um it was quite it was quite tricky getting it in the right place and i also had to make sure that when i'm sat here that the storage overhead storage locker wasn't here and i was banging my head on it behind me because it just sits behind me and also for my passengers as well i had to make sure it wasn't sitting too low um, so it wasn't a massive it's not a massive storage locker but it's just additional storage and we all need additional storage in a van um so yeah i, I put it all together um and then i wanted to keep it uh lightweight because i wanted to be able to still lift the panel out if required and not have to be oh, have two people lifting it and carrying it because it was so heavy so i used this like i say i used this batten wood and the foam board which is so light and easy to work with uh, and once it's carpeted it just looks brilliant um so that's what i did i put uh foam board sides carpeted same underneath um and initially i was going to have the sort of opening or the way you get into the storage locker from the living space so it was a sort of a locker that i could use from inside the living space and then at this side I was just going to have it blanked off but I thought oh hang on a minute how about I put some little doors on this side so that if I'm sat here and the storage units above me I can just open the little cupboard doors and I can access the storage locker from this side if required it's just that additional usage of the design so so that's what I did I created two small little doors uh, I found some hinges in my garage um, so I, I put them on so the little doors just drop down I found some little sort of rubber stoppers that I used as handles and once the out of foam, foam board obviously to keep it lightweight and once they were carpeted and the whole structure was carpeted I didn't need any kind of latch or magnet to keep the door shut the carpet itself just friction shut it just held t shut once the door was in place i might find that they drop out over time i don't know um because i'm not going to be storing much up there it's going to be lightweight stuff like little storage cubes with i don't know clothes in or towels or stuff like that that's what's going to be going up there so all things that i might need from the cab so i'm not expecting the doors to become flying open but like i say friction just holds them shut so uh all good now i'm not going to lie carpeting this overhead locker was like carpeting an octopus it was a nightmare there was that many legs and corners and carpet i had to go over the top and round the back and inside and over and under it was a nightmare but i just took my time and uh, i think the final result is uh, is quite good um, I will show you how the system goes together because like I say it does incorporate the curtain pole that when the curtain's not in use it becomes part of the overhead panel system and it sort of locks it into place because with the just the two panels 
it, there's a bit of a gap, so it would move backwards and forwards. So I've got some more of this, the full length of this gap, painted grey, it just slots into position and it just looks part of the roof. It just looks really good. Uh, and if I want to use the uh, cab curtain, I just get that out of the storage locker or wherever I store it, slide it onto the curtain pole, put it into position, the panel with the overhead storage locker goes into position and just pushes to the back and then the little section at the front then slots into place and I've got a little handle that just pulls down and again because of the carpet it just just enough friction just to plop it into place plop it into place plop it into place and everything is secure there's no movement it's absolutely flush as you like everything ties in and it looks ace I love it I really like it it's not going to be a system that I'm going to be taking in taking out swapping around so it's going to be in for whatever mode I'm in if I'm just driving because the majority of the time I'm just going to be using it as my day van uh, day going to work backwards and forwards to the shops the panels are going to be in place and it's all going to look neat and tidy and I've got access to the storage locker if I'm at a campsite obviously this will come out the pop top will be up i can put the main panel into place with the storage locker whilst i'm up there because it's light enough to lift and slot into place and i've got the extended uh, bed so what i'll do now is i'll just uh, show you how the system goes into place um, and then we'll uh, we'll call it a day So there you have it, that's my overhead removable cab storage locker bed extension panel project. Um, I hope you enjoyed that one, if you did please give us a thumbs up and um, please do leave a comment below if you think you may have done it slightly different or have you already done something similar, how have you done it, tell us all about that. And uh, yeah, just let us know what you think. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on my next video because I've got one coming up which is about behind me on the kitchen unit area and it's going to divide opinion. I guarantee it.